Hello YouTube! Welcome to my next Eldrazi Tron Saga Etron video. Um, I'm trying something, um, I don't know if it's going to be very good, but you know, I'm all in on the Ballista Bassless Collar combo, so basically, obviously, you always have the one walking Ballista in, but I'm like, what happens if I have another Bassless Collar for the sideboard? I'm bringing it against Burn, things like that. Um, i trying to remember what I cut for it. Oh yeah, I think I moved the Relic from the sideboard to the main deck, and then I cut the uh, Shadow Spear, and yeah, so basically same list, pretty similar list um, to the last few, just trying, uh, hey, you know, like if I have Ballista in play, can I just Karn down tick for the second half of the combo? Is that going to be any good? The world will never know until hopefully this video, but um, yeah, uh, as always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you in round number one. Here we are for round number one, and I lost a die roll. They're keeping seven. I think this hand is good enough to keep. They have Jagantha and Leyline. Looks like Zoo. I think I have to actually dismember this now because if they untap, then they can just hold up Stubborn Denial. Normally, I would like to uh, let them untap and do it on their turn, but... Temple Garden Shock. Kavu. Okay. Chelsea one. I'm gonna take five. Pitch a Ragavan. A shock in Sacred Foundry. Three mana. Oh, pit purchased again. Okay. Now if they attack, just a loot, then I get to block with Matter Reshaper. Dig a little deeper for What does Matter Shaper get me? That's a good card. Fortunately, it's a bad card for them to know about. Wow. They must not have a lot going on in their hand. Um, 
Relic seems bad. Kind of interested in the second collar. Well, no, I should keep it in the board as a combo piece. Um, like this. Like this. Yeah, we'll just keep it like that. They must not have hit another land, and then, you know, just using all his dust. Well, I'll keep this hand for sure. They play Ragavan, I'm tempted just to dismember it. Oh. Wild Nakaddle? Okay. Uh, they play Leyline Binding, so I think... I think I have to be a little careful. I'm going to take three from this. Again, I'm playing around Stubborn Denial. And that Wild Nakal is going to do more than just 4 damage to me if I leave it, let it live. Interesting. I'm just going to play this a little slow. They have no red sources, so that's interesting. Wow. Yeah, I need to play this first. They could Stubborn Annihil it to make me tap a mana and then Leyline Binding it next turn. Okay. I'm not going to leave it around for Leyline Binding. Wow, they just have all counter spells in their hand, huh? I like that if this gets countered again. Definitely okay with playing a patient game. Wow. I really want to know what they kept. They must have just thought that like having Stubborn Denial, Reprieve, Wild Nakata was going to be good enough and didn't draw what they needed. So I'll take it. A win's a win. So, But this hand would have been pretty good against their non-Leyline Scion draw. So cool. I'll uh, catch you in round number two. Here we are for round two, and I won the dash roll. Uh, I mean, this is a really good um, Eldrazi hand. Turn one this. I mean, I could start with Temple. But I think the... Yeah, I definitely keep this. I, could, I mean, there's three Eldrazi Temple, and there's eight other Tron lands. Okay, we both kept seven, so... Oh, 
Okay, they're burn. Or prowess, okay. I would like to draw another land. Or chalice. Yeah, I think I hold this up. If they don't do a ton of damage to me, if they just attack me for one, I'm just going to grab Urza Saga and play Thought Not Seer next turn. So I'd be taking two, so I think I'd still hold the dismember. They're not really putting me under a ton of pressure. Uh, this changes things a little bit. Put Chalice on one. They did draw their second land. I really want them to start pitching some spells into the Monastery Swift Spear and then I can dismember it. Untap, slam, Thought Not Seer. Suspended Rift Bolts. Okay. Yeah, this doesn't feel great, but... Next turn I get a slam thought knots here. Okay. Probably take a two drop out of their hand. Oh uh, wow. Hmm. This is a little scary. Because you're going to do three, six. They had a pretty good hand. I think they play the skewer. If they have land, they skewer and searing blaze me. Okay, so they don't have the land. Down to four. Attack for four, gain four life. Next turn I can play this matter reshaper. Not really sure what the opponent's outs are, but it's trying to give me use of my clock, I guess.
fetch Searing Blaze? I don't know. Kind of need a lot to go right. Okay, that definitely took a lot longer than I thought. Um, bring in this. Bring in this. Um, bring in this. And I'll probably just bring in this walking bliss as a cheap blocker. This hand is bad. I mean, I could get a really early basis caller, but. Hmm. I think I keep and I put this card on the bottom. Shock, Goblin Guide, okay. Nice. Not quite the Tron land I was looking for, but... Bolt, 11, <laughs> oops, all power plants, The Searing Blaze. Ow. Yikes. Down to two. Uh, I think I'm just dead. Okie dokie. Yes, I would love to go first. Uh, no. Uh, Not super happy about this, but done. I'm going to start with Temple. Which 
Shock. Rift Bolt. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Next turn I get to play Thought Knots here, take a look at their hand, hopefully take their artifact removal. Three damage to me. Second land. Secure me, okay. Path, oh, okay. I will gladly take that. Um, I think I just keep a blocker up the next turn I get a Thought Knots here. Interesting. Okay. Take deflecting palm. Hmm. I guess I kind of wish I had that Karn. Play Goblin Guide. Play Goblin Guide. Get two triggers. Oh, nope. They're just gonna... Hmm. I guess that kind of makes it nice. I can put some pressure on them. You get a double block. Okay. Um. I'll draw a card in there and step. One damage for three cards seems good. Oh. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna 
go to untap now okay Okay, seven. Keep the new one. Then I try to draw some cards. Okay, they played a blocker. Hmm. Interesting. Um, oops, I think I'm attacking. I'm going to play this chalice. On two. Cancel. Play chalice on one. Play matter shaper. I think the most I can do is okay. Another ring. Skewer. Okay. Well, they're dead now. Sweet. Uh, that was a bit too close against Burn, in my opinion. Um, but we got there, so we're 2-0. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next round. Here we are for round three, and I won the dash roll. And I have Natural Tron with Matter Reshaper, Urza Saga. Yeah, the sand, the sand slaps. Maybe one too many lands, but whatever. Highland, preordain. Kind of tempted to get this matter shaper down. I think I'm going to do that. Misty Rainforest. Is this Murktide or some sort of. Okay. Just 
just matter shapers all day. Next turn I can play Tron, I can play both these two cards. Dress down. I might have a bolt for one of these. Two bolts. I still ate two cards from hand. Cool. Well, my Karn is completely going to resolve. So I guess I'm going to get a one ring. I will put this on top. I will then play a Reality Smasher. Next turn I can play Saga, Karn Saga. Flame of Anor. Okay. They're probably a wizard's deck of some sort. Um like Cityscape Leveler. I do like Relic. They're probably playing Snapcaster Mage. These dismembers don't seem great. They do take care of subtlety, but I think I like this. I maybe bring in like Worm Coil Engine, the One Ring. I could always leave this in the sideboard and just bring this in. Yeah, just more threats. Actually, these Alls Dust don't seem great. Maybe I take this out and bring back, bring in this. I mean, I have Tron, Chalice, let's keep. Play Mold of Six. Shock in, Preordain, okay. You got it. Next turn I'll decide if I want to play Chalice on one. They do play Flame of Anor, so... I think I'm just going to get Tron. Uh, they do play Tidebinder, so it's kind of a problem. Okay, well, I'm going to do this now. Play around Tidebinder. They also get a Blood Moon. I don't know which I've waited, but I have the Mind Stone in my hand, so three blue. Okay, Blood Moon? Yeah, that's fine. Expressive iteration.
I should have probably waited to crack the map, but again, they could play... Oh. Okay, they're probably going to get rid of the Mind Stone. They did. Okay. Yeah, imagine if I grabbed a waste. I probably have subtlety, so I'll wait a turn. Okay, get another island. I punted really bad this game, but be interesting if they forgot to play their island. They did. Which means they have Flame of Anor. If I draw another land, I'm playing Chalice on three in a second. It's weird that they didn't play that before. I can't have six. You got it. Yeah, Chalice, one, two, three, baby. Uh, yeah, I should have definitely waited to crack my map and grabbed a waste, and this would have been much easier to win. Um, but obviously, Ballista, Chalice is, you know, pretty much locking out their deck. They could technically cast Subtleties, but, I mean, I was just going to basically keep attacking them, putting counters on Ballista, and, yeah. Um, sweet. I'll catch you in the next round. Here we are for round four, and we have a Gigantha Gamer, so... Uh, I can't keep this one lander. They mold a six. I shall also mold a six. Okay, well, we got the. I think this hand's a keep. Turn one, dismember. Turn two, thought knots here. Keep. Put back the mind stone. Kind of want the chalice. Might regret that. 
copper line gorge. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Not sure what the opponent's playing. Jacantha, Copper Line Gord, maybe it's Prowess? Well, I'm about to find out. Oh. Ah. This storm. I think I take the Underworld Breach. Metamorpho on, on my end step, okay. Bolt. Okay. Purchase the Gigantha. Nothing want to get for four. Okay. Attack. What? Uh, somehow it yielded through my turn, too. That's great. I really want to play something. I could be dead. Doesn't want to crack this, play the land, and then if I drew another land, I chalice on two. But I, I don't know, it seemed like really laggy when I took the Underworld Breach from their hand, so I guess I need to just click through my turn, because I'm dealing with lots of lag right now. Okay. Oh, I didn't, get a, I didn't look at what they got. Okay, so I'm going to dismember the goblin. This could be a bit of a problem because they can just play Jagintha. They get Desperate Ritual, play 5-5, five five and... Bolt me, Galvanic Relay, Well, this is kind of a problem.
see what they do. Uh, can they just cast bolt three times? They might be able to actually. Uh, yep, they can cast bolt three times. Guess I should have played that chalice on one. Whoops. Whoops. Okay. All this does seem really seems really bad. Um. One ring seems decent. Um, I'm guessing collar isn't really needed in this matchup. That was really unfortunate. I skipped my turn. I didn't. I mean, I guess I wasn't probably not even going to play Chalice on one, but I definitely should have. Yes, I would love to go first. I punched it pretty bad there. Um, expedition map. Yeah, I guess I keep this. It's got chalice also. Oh, they have Dragon Rage Chandler. Interesting. Uh, yeah, now I think I just do this. And then I play this. Grab mine, play mine, play map. Next turn I can play Chalice on two.
grab a Tormod script. Grab power plants, play power plants. Which house on two? Seek the beast. Cast pick your poison. Purchase the Gigantha. Well, I kind of like that. Um, yeah, I think I take that. And then I will play this one ring. Draw card. Okay. Uh, shoot. That looks right. Okay, so play this. Um, All right. Um, do I want to change anything up? I think I actually do need this back in, and I'll put this back out. Actually, uh, yeah, something like that. This hand is a trap. Uh, I actually do like this hand. Uh, keep, and we'll put the Matter Shaper back. They have a lot of two drops, so... Okay, DRC is going to be dismembered. I just don't want them to get any value off it, which is why I'm doing it at sorcery speed.
Purchase to Jugantha, okay. Because I know they play Pick Your Poison, I am going to Chalice on one. Turns off Dragon Rage Channeler. Okay. So they did have to pick your poison. Chalice on two would be really good. Clock established. Okay, bobble. Not good, they're doing math. Sadness. Three dismembers. I wish I didn't draw this relic. Wish it was the Tormod script. Seek the Beast. Into another Seek the Beast. Kind of going to need to draw some action. I'll take a chalice on two also. I think they're deciding if they want to cast some stuff. Okay, so they cast it from exile. Okay. Gonna need some action. They could just start getting a bunch of spells off. So I think I have to hold this back, unfortunately. the other questing druid yep yep I think these are gone So what do they do to the surveil? 
They left it on top. Scary. Attack. Do it. Ah. Okie dokie. Well, I'm in danger. I think I'm dead now. I literally drew dismembers and a relic. You got it. Interested to see what they which route they go. Okay. I think they can get it up to a 12 power creature now. If I'd known, I would have waited to play Chalice on two, but they had a bunch of pick your poisons, so. A little rough not drawing anything. Besides just members, I mean, they're, they did well stalling the board, but I didn't draw, like, anything super relevant. They go into attacks. They're going to put me to two. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, might as well kill me if they can kill me. Seems pretty easy when they got seven cards in hand. Yep. Alrighty, well that was a tough one. Um, but uh, yeah, we'll catch you in the last round. Alrighty, here we are for the last round, and I lost the die roll. So, Santa has turn one dismember, turn two chalice on one. I'm going to hope that chalice is good. Okay. Well, this is a really bad matchup. Uh, okay. They kept, I think, seven, eight cards, so, yeah. Get in there, Matter Shaper. Do your thing. I could be very much be dead. Okie dokie. Hmm. 
I don't think it matters what I do here. We're gonna make a construct. They must have like bounce land and a ramp spell. Okay. Play the one ring. Yup. That's not good for me. Uh, <laughs> I'm so dead. They have nine cards in hand. I find it very hard to believe that I'm not dead. I think the only way I'm not dead is if they, like, play Dryad, play Bounce Land, I dismember it. Create a construct. Okay. They tap mirror pool, so that's interesting. I guess they can if they draw blue, green bounce land, but I mean technically have chalice on zero, so. Bounce land Azusa, bounce land Grazer. Which one do they bounce? Oh, Pasadio. Okay. Oh, that's right, they had a second land drop. So they have bouncing Talaria West. Attacking for four. Sadness. I think what off the top of my deck could get me through this. Double dismember. Um I mean, like, I'm not doing anything with Tron anyways, right? So. Grab map. Play tower. <coughs> Crack this. Grab the mine. They're going to besage you this, and then just... Oh. I didn't leave up my dismember, so I'm like super dead. Yeah, 
I mean, technically I'd have to use two on one, so I guess when they copy... Oh, well, they give me one, so... It's not going to be good enough, though. Can they be staging me again? <laughs> Yeah, I punted this. I should have just kept the two mana up with the... Uh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Yep, and they have 11 cards in hand, so... Okay. Copy. Okay. Ugh. Of course it's Grazer. I fast forwarded, I am dead. Okay. Well, these are bad. Um, Rally Smasher is kind of slow. Um, kind of like Ratchet Bomb. Yeah, this is a bad matchup. Yes, I would love to play first. Um, I can Chalice on zero, play map. Does not seem good enough. Does not seem good enough. Uh, keep... Um, unfortunately I need land, so I'm going to do this, 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 crack this, yeah. They kept seven cards, so I'm also screwed. Yep, turn one amulet. Nice. Grab mine. Well, I think it's a very low chance I survive next turn, so here we go. They got one triggered, okay. Oh, 
Oh boy. Interesting, another stone brain. Grab map. Crack map. Grab tower. Play tower. Play stone brain. I'm just going to crack this now. I don't want to take any chance. They have some weird Forza Vigor nonsense. Prime Evil Titan. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Okay. They do have Besage you, but they don't have. Oh, they do have Green Source too. Um, oh, let me take a picture so I can make sure I. You, 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 you. Because they have Cultivator Colossus also in the deck. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. Yep. Get him for two. Copy, okay. So they should be able to besage you. Summoner's Pact for Colossus. I think that's their current plan. They can also grab Dryad. Seiju, Summoner's Pack, Dryad. Oh, or just Cast Explorer. Yeah, now they can probably play. Yeah, they can play. Oh, jeez. Oh, boy. Okie dokie. Um, have you ever felt very hopeless even though you interacted with the opponent on several occasions? Well, here we are. Um, 
Can't even stone brain them because they have ring protection. I can play this, but they're just gonna play two lands, bolt both my blockers, attack for a lethal. So, yep, a really bad matchup. Um, okie dokie. Uh, what did I think of the of of the deck? Uh, you know, I didn't think this Basilisk Caller, the extra one in the sideboard, was uh, any, really, any help. I don't think I ever grabbed it from the sideboard one time, so probably just going to remove that. Um, uh, Relic didn't really do much either, so probably going to find another flex slot for something with Relic. Maybe bring in, like, just another Mind Stone and do, like, two Mind Stone. Try that out. Um, I don't know. There's a lot of possibilities. Um, you know, I start off 3-0, and then I lost the last two rounds. Uh, I lost to a Storm deck that I kind of punted game, one of the games where I didn't play Chalice on 1. I was hoping to play Chalice on 2. And then uh, game 3, they just, you know, did their thing. Uh, and then... Round five is literally the worst matchup for this deck, you know, that and Green Tron. And uh, I literally chaliced on zeroed, and it actually affected what their hand was. And I stone brained their uh, primeval titans from their deck. So they just had Cultivator Colossus. And I mean, like, th this is their. I still have the screenshot up here. This is their deck list. So, yeah. So, literally, besides these, they had this these and then the Valakit, Vesuva, and Urza Saga. So they literally untapped, besaged my chalice, summoner's pact for the Colossus, and then um uh you know went off for like ten minutes um and uh I ended up like this. So um, not much to say. I definitely think that the extra Bastos Caller was too cute. I might need to think of something else to maybe help with the 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 uh, amulet matchup, which, I mean, like, there's Torpor Ore, but, like, what is that? It doesn't really do a whole lot anymore. Um, and I play Viseju's, Odawara's, things like that, so not quite sure. Um, but I definitely want to get rid of this Relic, maybe move the Relic to the sideboard, then make this a Mind Stone. I guess I can do that now. Um, let's see. Just against Scam, having an extra Mind Stone against Blood Moon decks, saying them already pretty. Uh, oops. Well, there's probably gonna be a bunch of Mind Stone. Which one do I have in my deck? There's a lot of iterations of this. Can you try something like this? You know, be able to ramp into this a little more. Ramp into this a little more. Or I could do a warping whale, but I'm not sure how I feel about that. But that's just my thoughts right now. Maybe I'll switch this to, you know, one warping whale and. And I think I like everything else. I just don't know if one Warping Well is going to be really any good. Whereas Mind Stone, I can play around Cha um, Chalice, Blood Moon a little more. But saying that I'm like an Urza Saga deck, you know. Um, but yeah, let's go back to... Oops. And open the chests. Yes. Uh, not a very good chest, but either way, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the next video.